Mom, will you grab those hedge clippers for me before you go? They're right there, next to the geraniums. Are you serious? Dust it done yet, darling. The lottery calls. You know you're 9,000 times more likely to get hit by lightning than you are to win the lottery. It's just for fun, Molly. Remember fun? Woohoo! We're going to do it this time. stare at me. Sam? 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 Mom! Knock much? There's somebody at the door. So? So, Frank is out and Graham is getting a lottery ticket. Why don't you get him to answer it? Answer the door, Sam. Come to Moscow, Mom. Come on! No. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm done. Sorry. Hi. Uh, hi, I'm Joe. Uh, Frederickson. My father's uh, visitation is this afternoon. Harold Frederickson. Well, the parlor entrance is just around the side. Uh, tried that. I uh, know an answer. Well, that, because I think you're a little early. Is that a problem? You know, my mother usually handles this stuff, and she's not here. I'm sorry. You know what? No, it's not a problem. Just... If you go around the side, I'll make sure it's open. Oh, um, wait, before you go, could you grab those hedge clippers for me? Sure. Don't start. Why is the door still locked? He's early. Unlock it. I already did. Okay, go get dressed. What? Here, take this. Okay. That was Frank, and he'll be handling your father's service. I really wanted to see him before you did all that. you would, but trust me, it is better this way. What color is his face? Beige bisque number 40. I never wanted to see him, not some made-up version of him. I can change it if you'd like me to. No. No. I'm sorry. I, it's fine. Bye. Well, you'd be the first. We aren't built to be fine with this. Uh, um, I'd, uh, I'd also like to read a passage um, not, um, when everybody gets here from uh, Counter Wisdom. Tolstoy. Yeah. yeah. Is that going to be here? No. What is that? A training aid. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
I'm gonna let you have some time with him. D your father, not the doll. Be obviously, that would be really weird. Um, I will be down the hall, and Frank should be in soon. Wait, wait, what's, what's your name? Molly. It's all wrong. It's not him. It's... Of course it's not him, right? It's some place he used to hang out. An abandoned building? How did you know it? Oh, um, I don't. Didn't. I, um, just live here. And I'm not supposed to be down here when there are people, so... Can I have his tie clip back? What? The one on your hat. It's a barrette. It's mine. I made it for him. In Eagle Scouts. It's got my initials on it. JF. Joe Fredrickson. I, I must have, um, I don't know how that got here. It just... It probably happened when you took it. Are you going to tell? I wasn't there. Where? What he working, <laughs> working out of the country. Whoa! Did, did, he, did he just breathe? Oh no! It just looks like that sometimes. He didn't. Don't worry. So why were you out of the country? Make documentaries. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like so addicted to the Discovery Channel. Would I have seen anything of hers? Possibly. <laughs> you know, it's so cool that you get to travel. I was supposed to go to Moscow in a few weeks and I got a passport and I was learning Russian and then I. You know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I should just leave you alone. Um, it was nice to meet you, by the way. And I'm sorry about your dad. Um, is, is this weird? Not really. Thanks. About, about what I did. I don't know what you're talking about. Anne Marie. Gorgeous. All right, I wanted a good picture to work from, but. And it's expired. Still talking to them. You know that's creepy, right? Oh, Molly! God. It's me! Oh. Molly!
I'm sorry I was gone so long. Come here. See? circuses and animal shows all over the world. One of them is about the Moscow Cat Theater. So he's been to Russia, which is so cool. When did you talk to him? Earlier. You thought he was hot? I don't know, kind of like someone's dad hot. Oh, and I got us hats. Aw, one for you, Mama, <laughs> and one for you, Papushka. Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I ordered them when I thought we would still, um, Stay at least, um, no, it's okay. One more thing. <laughs> Here's your date. <laughs> Every kid's dream is to run away and join the circus, right? Well, I actually did it as a grown-up, but still, I lived my whole life. Then the dream turned into a nightmare. What made you decide to come forward? The circus is a lie. Malls. Are you really thinking about going? You don't even go to the grocery store. You can even take a few steps outside this afternoon.
Oleg, I thought it was Pedro. I rechristened him in honor of your trip. Someone was uh, careless enough to throw their birthday gift in the trash, so I uh, liberated him. In the new outfit? Mm -hmm. He needed a bath. Mm. Well, he's not coming with us. Oleg loves riding in a car. I'm just going to go open the windows so he can stick his head out. That's dogs, look. I'll go to my room. Your room? But, Graham, we have to go. Go where? Dress rehearsal. Oh my god, get her sent. Oh. Grab her. Mom, Mom, you okay? Oh. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. Sam, will you get that? <sighs> Mom, I'm gonna call Dr. Barlow. Oh, okay. no. I, I just forgot to eat breakfast, so I took my blood pressure pills on an empty stomach. I, I, I'm fine. I'm sorry, this is crazy. Mm. It's so crazy to bring him here. Mom? Joe, what happened? It's Tuck. He was just lying there, cold. I was going to bury him in the backyard, but I thought my condo association would frown on that. Oh, I don't do pets. I don't even know if that's allowed. Honey, you just got over a plus-sized woman with a pair of garden shears. You're not going to help this poor man with his dog. And I couldn't just dump him somewhere because he was a rescue and he has abandoned my shoes. Honey, we have to get going. You're going to be so late. Joe can take me, right, Joe? No. Well, why don't you take me? How many points do you have? The points? On your license. None. How do you do that? I've got... You have so many. I'm a very good driver. I'm going to be so, so late. Um, okay, I'll take him. And I'll do what I can, but I can't embalm him. No, no, that's not what I... I didn't mean... I... I didn't have anywhere else... To go. He's my fan. Okay. It's okay. I got him. Thank you. Bye, Sam. Bye. Honey, I'll see you later at the recital. Okay. I brought you some company. Great. <sighs> what do you think he's going to do with him? You think he's going to keep him like Roy Rogers did with Trigger? I don't know, Mom. I'm not a taxidermist. Your mother must think I'm nuts. Well, glass houses. What do you mean? of other people's lives, other people's moments. That's the pretentious answer. I, the real answer is I'm more comfortable with a camera in front of my face than without. Are you sure you want to hear? Because it's about a 10 on the crazy ways to die scale. So I'm sure. So there was this pigeon. This pigeon who clearly did not do his homework in regards to peanut allergies. And who obviously did not know that even a whiff of the tiny legume can send some people into anaphylactic shock. 
That dumb bird could have had no way of knowing that when he ate those peanuts in that park. He was, however, unintentionally committing manslaughter. 47 people were killed by lightning that year. 75 by cataclysmic storms. And as far as I know, only one has ever been killed by peanut-infested pigeon poop. <laughs> Would have been a lot funnier if it wasn't my dad. Sam? Yeah? I'm pretty sure that's an 11. At least. I'm really sorry. dog. You didn't even do me. You just bar me out. Spending all this time brushing this dog's hair. You didn't even spend a second with me. You just threw me in the trash last night. I'm not talking to you. Why not? Because I refuse to be insane. Well, I don't think you really have a choice on that matter, do you? Molly! Oh, shit! What? Where are you going, Molly? I want to go. You can do this, Molly. I have faith in you. Come on. Just one step at a time. That's it, yes, that's it. No, I can't, Mom. But if you just do... I can't. Yes, you can. Get off my back. I can't do it. I can't. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing with that? Carpool lane. Strangest girl I ever met. 
There's a pet cemetery over on Grove. It's pretty. It's like a park. I could give him a call. No, 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 no. I got it from here. Okay. So? What? So what did the doctor say? If you were so interested, you could have come with me. Mom, what did she say? Mm. <laughs> what they always say, I need more tests. You were gone an awfully long time to just hear more tests. Yeah, well, Frank and I stopped at Boomers for a drink. Oh, and uh, Pedro here was very popular with the bikers. Don't make me ask Frank what the doctor said, because I will. They think it was a mini-stroke. And that can affect your balance and your memory. A stroke? I have to cancel the trip. Don't you dare use me to get out of this. Don't you dare. You need to sort yourself out. You had a stroke, Mom. That's serious. A stroke. I did not have a stroke. You it did. Was... No. Sam. I called you about a hundred times. The recital. I forgot. I am so sorry, sweetheart. I just forgot. Are you dying? No. No. Oh, no. It sounds worse than it is. They just have to run some tests to see what's going on in my noggin. Oh, that's all it is. Huh? Sam! Are you there? I need you. Sam? Sam, can we talk? Can we talk later? Sure, honey. I, I love you. I love you too, Graham. get video yesterday? Yep, all of them. Oh, I'll call Rachel's mom. No, it's okay. I sucked anyway. I'm sure that's not true. No, let your mother get it. She needs the practice. 
I'll do it. Hi. 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 <laughs> what are you? Oh, I just uh stop by to say hello. Oh, before the viewing. She's uh, a distant relative, so I am uh, very distant. Oh, the viewing is that way. Oh, yeah, I, I remember. I, <laughs> sorry. And um, if there's anything I can do. How'd she die? I'm not really sure. So, she's not family then? No, no. A friend? Yeah, not exactly. Who is she? She's a half size too small. I'm a seven and a half. You're an eight. Let me see these bunions. You don't have bunions. You just got perfect feet. <laughs> Let me massage you. I have to go back to work. Oh, come on, Malls. Five minutes. I know you miss my massages. Don't act like you don't. What were you watching? Well, you can't 
keep pretending like you're a friend or a relative of every recently deceased person in town. Why not? Just ask her. Look. Anne-Marie Toddy even thinks you should ask her. Look. Go on a date, Joe. Say yeah. Joe. <sighs> okay. Wait, seriously? Then let's go right now, come on. No, stop. I that, that's something I should do. Alone. Thanks. Okay, I'll go get her before you change your mind. No, we're Sam. Mom? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out! to get dressed. for me. Why? Yeah, Mom. Why? There's... For one thing, my mother's not very well. I am just fine. Yeah. You should go. Go where? On a date with Joe. <sighs> God, yes! Uh, um, Have some fun. Friday? 6.30? It's a date. I'll be right back. I may not have done this in a while, but I'm pretty sure that was a no. Mom! You just walked out on him! I can't do this right now. You should have knocked. Seriously, that's your response? I do not want to have this conversation with you. I can go my whole life without having this conversation. I am your mother, and I have, you know, feelings and needs. He was meant to be a gag gift, Mom, not a boyfriend. Please just do it for me! Molly. Okay. Does Friday 6.30 still work? Um, no, uh, 7. I volunteered at the animal shelter. <laughs> My first shift is Friday. I'll see you then. See you then? <laughs> what just happened? You have a real life date with a real life person. <laughs> we need to get to work. On what? The plan. Oh, honey, fix your hair. Why? It's in your eyes. Welcome to your online support group. Everyone, this is Molly. Mom, this is everyone. Hi, Molly. Molly. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi, Moles. <laughs> what? I got tired of not being able to go to the movies or driving 15 miles away just to avoid a freeway. Life got so small, you know? No, we don't know. Guys, today I went and got a pedicure. Next week, I'm getting the other foot done. <laughs> Baby steps, one foot at a time. Molly, what about you? What 
about me. Is there anything you would like to share with the group? Moles. Oh. You're nothing like these losers. No, I, I don't think so. Yes. BD. How does your mom? How does your
What's wrong with that one? God, it's so purple. And the other four? Would you hand me those jeans? <laughs> no, not the mom jeans. Here, try these. Oh my God, these are so old. <laughs> well, so old they've come back into style. so hard. I'm really proud of you. Yes, that is the one. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where are you going tonight? Um, Frank's dropping me at Rachel's. Where did you get those earrings?
So I'm taking you to Rachel's? No, I don't feel like it anymore. You can just go home. No. You won it fair and square. No. I didn't want to win this one. I was hoping she'd make it out, too. Why do you stay with us? Hell's insurance. You know that's a joke, right? Because the three of you... you... I'm not real good with this stuff. I know. So, you really haven't been out in three years. And I've tried everything. I've tried medication and meditation and group therapy and you name it, I've tried it. My prep for this night alone was Olympic. Wait, you trained for me? I guess I did, yeah. Okay. So we stay in. Wait, I tell you something incredibly screwy about myself, and your response is, we'll stay in? Well, I, I guess I have one question. What's that? Order delivery or raid the fridge? Take four, five minutes. Peanuts? Stop. 
stop. No, don't stop. No, don't. No. No. You know what I miss? Bike rides. I miss bike rides with Sam. How's oh, Sam, by the way? Fine. Just fine? No. <laughs> the quiet ones with the most secrets. Nice pin you found. And those pearl earrings. And those cufflinks. Did you ever find those cufflinks? Oh my God, Peter. Um, it's it's Joe. to 
say that. Not when you've missed every single dance recital and soccer game and doctor's appointment. I have seen the video for every- Videos? <laughs> you haven't been here. You are missing my whole life. Why did he leave us? Why did he ride his stupid bike that day? And why didn't he take his epinephrine with him? He never forgot it. He never forgot it. He never forgot it. <laughs> to do. taking her to cabins. No, bring her home.
She looks beautiful. I have to change her shoes. Why? Because I'm so mad at her. I put her in these ugly beige orthopedic shoes she hates. I have to change them. So. I, I only came by because Sam called. She sounded really upset. So I just wanted to come and make sure that she was okay, that you are both okay, that's all. Hey, we're fine. You'd be the first, then. She's upstairs, you can go up. Of Molly. Joe. Don't. Don't. Okay. Bye. Sam? Oh. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? My mom went outside last night. On her own, for the first time in like three years. And it killed my grandmother. Oh, no. Sam, that's not killed your- Well, that's how she sees it. I hope you know how to plan a good staycation because she'll never leave this house again. Like, never, ever. Um, Sam, you, um... Your mom and I, we... What? It, it just didn't work out. I'm sorry. So, you're not staying either? No. No, I'm not. Then why are you here at all? I, I wanted to see if you were okay. To document? What? You get to watch without getting messy, don't you? Well, you don't get to witness us, our lives, our moments, because they suck. Like, we're cursed. Sam, that is not why I'm here. Go home, Joe. Sam. Don't you get it? We don't want you here. Sam. Just leave. Go now! Joe. I heard. Do you think we're cursed? No. I think we're just alive. I yelled at your dad. said to him was mean. Why? Because he loved me and I felt entirely unlovable that day. And I thought I had all the time in the world to make it up to him.
I wouldn't let him take the car. I said I needed it. I didn't. So he rode that stupid bike. I wanted to tell you, but I just couldn't. And I'm sorry.
Did you find it? Sam. It's Sam. Why can't I move? Because you think you have to stop being afraid. <sighs> you won the lotto. Ten thousand. No. Thought you'd be happier. Winning isn't the point. The point is playing the game. Now go get our girl. Looks good. No thanks to you. Where are you going? Away. I hear it's nice there. Stop. I don't get it. How are you out here right now? I found the thing that was bigger than my fear. You. All I can tell you is that if you come home, I promise I will be there for you. Always. And I plan to be available for all kinds of outdoor activities. Maybe we could start with going to an authentic Russian restaurant and do Moscow next year. But if you do go away or wherever you go, send me a postcard, okay? to Mr. Dawson's house. The earrings belong to his wife. How did that go? Not well. The next ten might not be so easy. I know. I need you to look up an address for me. Who's? later just listen now okay you're right I am not over Peter but I don't think that I'm built to get over the people that I love and I lose and I do want to keep living and I do want to learn how to love again and I do want to make space and I know that I come with more than the usual amount of baggage it's probably more than could fit in, in an overhead compartment but if you think that maybe your baggage and my baggage could somehow fit space for you. And your suitcase. Yeah. And in mine. We're kind of a package deal. I'm, I'm really
really sorry that I yelled at you. I didn't mean any of it. Don't answer anything now. Just think about it, okay? just mine, which I thought was damn near impossible. So, hi, Joe. Hey, Sam. So I um I brought this. It's a picnic, um, sort of a Russian picnic. Seriously? Yep. I got borscht and uh, well, it's not really borscht because I didn't have the right ingredients. It's cabbage soup. And I got three beets and vodka. Black tea for you. Thanks. And this is a picnic, right? Mm, yep. And picnics are meant to be enjoyed outside? Yeah. Okay. Let's go have a picnic outside. <laughs> <laughs> 